Hello, Barbara here with your frequently asked questions about natural progesterone. Barbara, how do I know if I need natural progesterone or if I should use it? Well, there's a lot of reasons. If you have PMS, which is seven to 10 days before your period, you get a lot of symptoms and they disappear during or after the period, progesterone can help. If you have estrogen dominant symptoms, water retention, breast swelling, fibrocystic breasts, uterine fibroids, loss of libido, mood swings, depression, cravings for sweets, weight gain, and fat deposits on the hips and thighs, natural progesterone can help. If you're in menopause, you're still making estrogen but not very much progesterone, progesterone can help. If you have osteoporosis, you're over 50 years old and you're worried about your bones, natural progesterone can help you. Barbara, how do I use natural progesterone cream? It's easy, ladies. If you're still menstruating, use a quarter teaspoon twice a day from day 12 through 26 of your cycle. If you don't, um, if you're still menstruating but you don't need it, if you don't think you need it but you have menstrual cramps, you can rub a small amount on your lower abdomen. If you have migraines, you can rub it on the back of your neck. Do you have menopause symptoms but you're still having periods? Use a quarter of a teaspoon twice a day and then stop during your cycle. That's the way you use natural progesterone. How does natural progesterone differ from synthetic progesterone? Great question. Oh my gosh, it's so different. Natural progesterone comes from the Mexican yam. It's bioidentical. Your body recognizes it as something it made. Bioidentical. No side effects. Drug companies alter natural progesterone's chemical makeup so they can patent it. That's the way they can make money. And they create something called progestin, which differs from progesterone. Progestins can cause birth defects or abortion, a heart attack, breast cancer, stroke, blood clots, epilepsy, migraine headaches, asthma, cardiac or kidney dysfunction, and depression. And the worst one, weight gain. They don't tell us that when they give us the birth control pill, but that's what can happen. So you want natural progesterone, not progestin. Can natural progesterone help endometriosis or fibrocystic breasts? Yes, it can. The common factor in these two syndromes or diseases is a high level of circulating estrogen. Well, what does progesterone do? It helps normalize all other endocrine and hormonal activity in the body. In this case of endometriosis and fibrocystic breasts, it assists to lower the level of the circulating estrogens and helps to clear these conditions. I personally used progesterone and cleared a horrible condition of fibrocystic breasts and pain and swelling in about three months. Should estrogen be used without natural progesterone? No, definitely not. Estrogen alone can cause endometrial and vaginal cancers. Estrogen alone also blocks thyroid production, can cause fibrocystic breast syndrome, can cause fibroid tumors, and ovarian cysts. You don't want to use estrogen alone. We weren't designed that way. God made estrogen and progesterone to go together. Also, estrogen alone causes weight gain, which none of us want. I've seen weight gain of up to 50 pounds and the 35 other symptoms of estrogen dominance. You can see the previous video I've done of the 35 symptoms and it's a ghastly list. So that's just a few of the frequently asked questions. So keep checking back. There are many more to come. You want answers and I have them for you. So Barbara here wishing you better health naturally. Now, if you've gone to a doctor and he's given you a prescription, make sure it's progesterone, bioidentical, not progestins with their negative side effects. Now, once again, check back. I have more to come.